Hello, I am back today with a an unboxing from a blind box from the UK scrapbooking shop Hey Little Magpie. I absolutely love Hey Little Magpie because they have opened me up to all the branded stuff. Um, so this uh, blind box was something that they offered recently which is a blind box of simple stories branded stuff. Um, you don't know what you're getting at all, hence a blind box, duh. Um, and it's, they say it's about 75 quid's worth for £25. I wasn't overly interested in fur at first, I usually run on a budget, um, so I try to be careful what I'm buying and I try to fill gaps in my collection because I haven't been a scrapbooker for that long. I have a big stash, I would say. Maybe I don't have a big stash. I would say I have a big stash. I have limited space at home. Um, and um, a lot of that stash is budget supplies that I originally bought, not anything. I'd never heard of Simple Stories or any of those, you know, Echo Park, a Doodle Bug, any of those brands. I hadn't heard of them before. Um, so mine was all just stuff from my local shops like the range bargain shops um generic craft supplies um so um i decided you know what i'm gonna try this as a one-off see if i like it see what i think um this could be a good opportunity to get some some more stuff into my stash so here i'm just showing all the washi tapes um I had mixed feelings about this box, I will say, to be completely honest. Um, at first, um, when I saw there was quite a bit of Christmassy stuff, I was a bit like, oh, Christmas. Um, the reason is, is that I did buy some stash of Christmas stuff from the range um, and I haven't ever really used it. And in some ways it's because I like it uh, some of it a bit too much to use it on cards and things and then some of it yeah it I just I haven't figured out I hadn't figured out how to use it with scrapbooking um and I haven't scrapbooked any Christmas photos I don't think yet or very minimal so but I didn't know whether to scrapbook them individually or to make a Christmas album etc etc I wasn't sure what would be the best to do. So I never got round to using any of this stuff. But recently, um, Paige Evans released her collection. I think it's called Sugar Plum Wishes, which I absolutely loved the look of. And I thought, I have got to have that. Um, so I got the pieces that I wanted. And this year, I am intent on using some of my Christmas stash. So although I groaned a little bit, I am intending to use some this year or, and have some sort of a project in mind. There was some lovely fall or autumn stuff in the box, like these lovely layered stickers. Really like those. Um, I do actually have an autumn project on the go, which is again something to do with Paige Evans, is her autumn cut files bundle. Um, I bought that last year and I've been working through those cut files. Um, these lovely page pieces as well. They're quite nice because they're sort of a farmhousey theme, which is what I quite like. Um, and in some ways that actually fits quite well with the UK which is obviously where I am and we you know we have quite a few I live in, in an area where it's a bit city but also a little bit country it's a bit of a mix between the two um so yeah they they would fit quite well with some of the photos that I have I have a lot of photos of my little boy outside um and he's also about to start at a nursery as well that's an outside nursery it's a forest school nursery so hopefully i'll get some nice nursery pictures that would be quite nice to pair with those sorts of things um but yeah so i was pleased with some of these bits and bobs and i will say that if you're looking for something that it you know has that value i looked up how much all the pieces would be and I worked it out and it was just over £75. So definitely worth it in terms of the amount that I was paying. I would say if you're quite picky and you really don't know 
what well you, you're not sure that you would like something that you wouldn't necessarily pick then don't go for it but if you're willing to try something a little bit different if you want to maybe go out of your comfort zone or you just maybe want to build up your stash a little bit this is perfect for that um because again i didn't get all christmas stuff i got some autumn bits and i also got some other bits just one or two that could be used for anything i mean this pack is a christmas pack but those birds are really cute um and there are also bits in there that you wouldn't just have to use for christmas like those little bits there with the hearts on and things I mean, I love those cute little Christmas stamps. Um, sorry, I kept trying to get everything to focus, but the light was just not on my side that day. And yeah, I'm still trying to work it out. But there are things in here like tags and stuff that you wouldn't have to use for the Christmas stuff. You know, yeah, it might be red coloured, but if you were to pair it with something that wasn't Christmassy, you, people wouldn't know. You would know. So if that bothers you, then <laughs> don't do it. But... I think I could probably make it work. I also love those little bits that sort of look like they're hand drawn. Um, yeah, love. I really like that pack actually. Um, and I was quite chuffed actually that it meant I got a whole nice little stash of simple storage things. Um, next on to the, oh yeah, I pulled out the chipboard stickers just to show um, in here. I'm just trying to push one of the bits through back in um but they're quite cute they have lots of little vegetables and things and um i thought they were quite quirky um because yeah like the little the little i think there were some green beans or something <laughs> i thought oh that's cute so i have to try and think of some way to use those um i don't have a garden but hey hey uh nice to have a stencil i don't really have any stencils that are branded um, because I've only just started branching out into mixed media. Here we go. This is a bit more of a summery thing, but again, you could also, I think it says hello spring actually on it. I mean, really you could use that in almost any of the seasons. You could use that for autumn as well. I reckon I'm really pleased about this one because we are going to Disneyland in January. So really happy to have those, these cute crafty stamps again i struggle to use supplies that are about crafting but i have quite a lot of them um and some lovely christmas stamps so all in all actually a really nice box to receive definitely a lot for what you're paying and really happy with the amount that i got so yeah thank you see you next time